So we have to separate a separable differential equation to solve it. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. You can already tell that x and t are the two variables here. So we have x squared plus 1 over 81. So we want to separate the x's and, in this case, the t's. So what I need to do, I need to move the dt to the right side and then everything else to the left side. So I'm going to multiply by 1 over. And let's turn the right side into a single fraction first before we do all this. So I'm going to turn x squared, I'm going to put it over 81. So I need to write it as 81 x squared over 81. 81. And then this, of course, is 9 squared x squared plus 1 over is squared. Okay. So we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of this. So that's going to be 9 squared over 9 squared. Let's write it as 9x whole thing squared plus 1 <coughs> dx equals 1 dt. All right, so the right side is super easy. It's just t. An antiderivative is going to be t. You do need a plus constant. You can put it on either side. I'm going to put it on the more simple side, the, just the right side there. Now on the left side, it looks a lot like tangent inverse. So you can absolutely look inside your textbook and open up the integral table, which I will open up briefly right now. So open up the calculus to textbook. And if you scroll way down, let's see, basic integrals, it should be somewhere in here. I thought it was going to be around 15 to 18. Tangent inverse. Inverse. Uh, wow, we just scrolled down a lot further than I thought. I still don't see it. All right, well, while we're here, you can see that there is a ton of choices. Wow. Okay, so what to do when you're pretty sure there's an integral, but it's not in this table. Okay, should be right down here. Oh, there it is, number 16. Wow, terrific. Okay, so we got a squared plus u squared is 1 over a tangent inverse u over a. So I'm going to bring that back in, put that here. So I'm ready to apply this. The only trick is, well, we haven't written the other order. You can just switch a squared and u squared because they're added together. That doesn't matter. We do need to make a u substitution. So u equals 9x, du equals 9dx. This is almost perfect. So we're going to take one of these 9s here and the dx. So it's going to be 9 integral du over u squared plus 1. Okay, and this is 9 tangent inverse of, that's important, it's, uh, oh, there's also an over, there's the 9 you get, and then the 1 over a, our a is, our a is 1, okay, a equals 1, that comes from right here. We did have to make a u substitution, but at least the a is 1. So I copy this 9 down. I'll just write it as 9 over 1, tangent inverse u over 1. The plus constant I already accounted for on the right side. You only need to account for it on one of the two sides, not both. All right, unsubstitute back. So we have 9x, tangent 
tangent inverse of 9x time equals t plus c. And they do want the answer, if we scroll up, they want the uh, x of t function. So they want a function x of t. So they want, oops, g is a function of t. x has a function of t. Okay, so when you solve for x, get everything else on the other side. So first thing, divide both sides by 9. Oh, actually, before we do that, we could, well, could get the initial condition right now, but I'll just go ahead and do what I said I was going to do. Okay, get tangent, oh, take tangent of both sides, and I have 9x equals tan t plus c over 9. And last step, multiply by 1 ninth. Okay, so the, we just have to find C now. And we have one other information, piece of information, X of zero equals negative eight. All right, so where do we plug that in? I think it's gonna be easiest to plug it in here. So X of zero equals negative eight, what does that mean? That means when, this is X written as a function of T, so when t equals zero, x equals negative eight. We're gonna plug it into this line here. So that's nine tangent inverse of nine times negative eight equals t plus c and t is zero plus c. Not much you can do here other than write it as negative 72 equals C, and now you need to be, I believe, in radian mode, unless it says degrees somewhere, but we should be in radian mode here. But what I'm gonna do to just play it safe, I'm just gonna leave this whole tangent of T plus this whole value in that form right here for our constant C. There we go. Don't forget the coefficient like I did.